Hey, Paul Messenger here. Going to talk about another update to the public demo site today. We've added the Halo Smart Sensor to the system, and you'll see the data from the device is displayed in this new view in the demo group in the public demo site. The ICMs in the Americas have been showing this off for months, but we never had it as part of the public site. It was only available locally. So we've professionally mounted this device above the, uh, the demo room door where you've got Linnell and the Access Door Station as well, so that you can show um, the technology and the partnership in action. What it is is a device that's um, a PoE, intelligent, it has a web interface, it's got a brain, and it, it can analyze for um, chemicals in the air, also sound. But the biggest issue it addresses here in the Americas is vaping, um, and, and vaping in schools specifically. It's a, it's a huge problem, and this device can detect when uh, when when vaping is occurring especially in areas where you cannot have cameras right in restrooms and other areas uh, where it's difficult to have camera coverage uh, where students typically go to to partake in this activity you can install these devices and then associate the alarms with uh, the cameras in the area as i'll show in the demo so what you're seeing here is the live feed from the from the device showing what it's reading, what the levels are, the red arrows are displaying what, what threshold has to be crossed in order for the alarm to trigger. And this device is smart enough where it can even tell between uh, you know, nicotine only vape and vape that includes um, uh, THC. So that's really it from the live, just talking about how we're pulling real-time data from this device. But the alarm manager is where you go to really show it off. So here we're gonna regularly trigger these events using a can of compressed air, because obviously we don't want to vape in the office. But here on April 17th, Beatrice and Marketing was helpful um, and uh, blasted the device, which is in the ceiling above this door with a can of compressed air. So a couple things happening here, you can see the threshold for the CO2 is crossed significantly. The alarm comes in and we get the associated video. I can double click the event, bring it up. I've got um, the sensor data. So I can see the exact moment at which it detects the CO2 threshold cross, and then I can toggle to the video uh, to see the culprit in action. And then we've got typical instructions here. Security resource officer should be dispatched. And then again, bookmark the incident for further review because it's still a problem where customers and uh, don't have the ability to set up proactive uh, monitoring of their systems. So the the fact that they can respond to this alarm real time is probably probably not. Not going to happen. But the fact that they can go back through these and re review them later to um, uh, prevent the activity from occurring in the future is, is pretty powerful. And then again, these can be sent as push notifications as well using the uh, alarm management capabilities. That's really it from a demo standpoint. It's highlighting the unique way we can um, connect to not only cameras and analytics, but also you know new technologies like this Halo. On the management side, You've got uh, the device added to the system, just like a standard camera. So you add the device using the universal driver. You can configure that stream of the sensor data using their guide. They give you the connection URI and everything you need to make the, the universal driver system easy. And then it's generic events. So you've got a generic event that you create. And again, they have a guide to make this easy. Which events do you want to receive the alarm on? And then there's a, a reset so that it goes back into to passive state. And then you've got the alarm definition, Halo Smart Sensor. Again, anytime we get the generic event alert, it's going to uh, pull up the uh, office map, as well as the two items that we have selected, the related cameras, which is the center shortcut, and then also the feed from the Halo Smart Sensor. And then in the rules, pretty sure we set up a rule so that the Halo would record. Yeah, because there's no motion on that. Um, on that stream from the device. So we've set a rotor rule to when we get the Halo event, record the device stream data, three seconds of before and after. And then some of you may know that getting sensors like this to, to flash red on the map, like I showed on the alarm manager, uh, requires creating a user-defined event and then, and then a rule, kind of a workaround so that the device actually appears near the camera and flashes red when the alarm occurs on the map. But from a demo standpoint, it shows how IoT could change the future, how Milestone is set up to um, efficiently allow customers to add these types of technologies and, and do something with them. So that's always been our value prop, right? The freedom, flexibility, and an easy-to-use interface to um, use this technology in a, in a proactive way. 
anyway, I hope you'll show it off, come up with other user stories that we can share uh, to make it pop in the market and appreciate your time. Thank you.